the product we're going to talk about today is Brookfield's Rotary Viscometer DDA model. This model is suitable for routine viscosity measurements. There are also 18 speed choices available for viscosity measurements. It also uses LCD display to show information. Depending on the measurement range and the characteristics of the sample, you can select a model that matches the viscosity of the sample from DBELV, DBERV, DBEHA, DBEHB. The following table compares the specifications of each model. Use this table to select the appropriate model. The components include the main body, stand, spindle, spindle guard rick, power, adapter, and carrying case. DDEHA, DDEHB models do not have spindle guard racks. The DVELV has for basic spindles, and the rest of the models have six spindles. The guard racks on the DVELV and DVERV are different shapes and incompatible. Rotate the level screw at the bottom of the stand so that the bubble on the horizontal is centered. The installation of the viscometer is complete when the power adapter is connected to the power port. On the front of the main body, there is a display, various operation buttons, and bubble level. There is a power adapter connection port on the rear. There is a pivot cup and coupling screw at the bottom of the main body. For LV and RV models, install the guard rick before joining the spindle. The guard racks can be installed through a screw hole located on the back of the pivot cup. The guard rack protects the spindle from external shocks. It is also used to obtain accurate results in the low viscosity area. We will attach the spindle to the coupling screw located in the center of the pivot cup. First, turn the protective cap counterclockwise to remove it. The coupling screw must be slightly raised upwards to prevent damage. With the coupling screw slightly raised, rotate the spindle clockwise to install it. If you turn it too hard, the pivot may be damaged, so be careful. If it is difficult to select a spindle, the low viscosity is measured from the low number spindle. Conversely, the high viscosity is measured from a spindle with a high number. The number of the spindle is engraved on the coupling part of the coupling screw. Turn on the main body by pressing the power button in the center. Press spindle button to select the spindle number. Press speed button to set the desired rotation speed. For low viscosity samples, select a rotational speed of high RPM. Conversely, for high viscosity samples, select low RPM rotational speed. Press range button on the bottom right to see the maximum viscosity that can be measured under the conditions. If the maximum measurable viscosity value is lower than the expected viscosity value, the RPM or spindle must be changed. If you do not know the expected viscosity value, first set the measurement range wider to see the approximate viscosity value. After that, we can narrow the range to measure. Prepare approximately 500 milliliters of sample for measurement. If it is difficult to secure a sample of 500 milliliters, use the Brookfield accessory, small sample adapter, or cone plate. Turn the height control knob to immerse the spindle in the sample to the marked groove.
press motor on off button on the bottom left. The display shows for figures each represents the measured value RPM, torque and spindle number. After a certain period of time, the measurements are stabilized and the measurement results can be checked. If the measurement is not displayed and EEE is displayed, it is a sign that the value has gone beyond the measurement range. In this instance, measure by changing the RPM in the first. Secondly, measure it again by replacing it with a different spindle. If the torque value is less than 10%, when the measured value is stabilized, measure again by changing the spindle or rotational speed. When the measurement is complete, press motor on, off button to stop operation. Remove the spindle and guard rick and clean them sufficiently. When removing the spindle, hold the coupling screw upwards. If you want to measure another sample, you can repeat the measurement using the above method. Be careful not to shock the spindle while the spindle is engaged. If the spindle is impacted, the pivot is more likely to be damaged. When connecting or removing the spindle, always hold the coupling screw upwards to prevent damage to the pivot if the pivot is damaged free. Alright, that was a description of Brookfield's Rotary Viscometer DVE.